and humble yourself and tell God it's your fault it's not your brother-in-law's fault or your mother's fault your father's fault they humble themselves and they said Lord please forgive me I need your grace to make it through I turned to Pastor Johnson and didn't know exactly the father's testimony Mr. Crabb's testimony my brother but I turned to him and I said I I heard that our brother was away from God and really messed up I didn't know he was an alcoholic and God brought him back I said but did you notice in the songs how he brings out the grace of God the mercy of God how many noticed that in all those songs a lot of people are just singing hallelujah 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 they're singing hallelujah but they're singing a little more depth than that please forgive me I need your grace to make it through so Samuel said here's the secret if you put away the filth and you confess your sins I'll kill the lamb shed the blood and then let's just talk to God and do you know what happened without the ark with them they went and beat the tar out of the Philistines why because the channel was clear God brought victory because they had done the simple things they honored the blood now for today it's different for us we don't have to kill any animal we just have to plead and remember the blood of Christ but you can't have the blood working in your life you can't have victory while you're holding on to stuff I counsel people and I say I said to someone the other day I must be a miserable pastor I must be a terrible preacher how many years have you sat in the church and you're living like that and holding on to that stuff and then you wonder why God's not blessing your life oh come on wake up don't believe this prosperity gospel that you never have to get right with God you just speak words and he sends money to you every day that's a lie from the pit of hell God wants you right in your heart and the minute you're made right victory comes every enemy is defeated every opposing force is brought down come on let's put our hands together yes it's so yes it's so someone said to me recently in my office uh, they got upset with something and they said oh go to hell pastor Silva I said no listen you're gonna go to hell I'm not that's where you're gonna end up if you don't listen It's very simple don't worry about demons don't worry about demons at all tonight demons are, are not what I want to focus on now that's demons didn't defeat the Israelites their sin defeated them their sin their sin they wouldn't confess their sin they held on to idols but the minute they got rid of the junk the minute you throw that stuff away the minute you go back to a person and make it right who you have ought against the minute you get those things right you confess it you tell God I'm gonna get do that tonight if you're here tonight you got cigarettes that you know are ruining your body which are the temple of God give me the cigarettes you can give me a, a packages cartons of them I'll get rid of them for you drugs weapons anything you have give it to me but don't hold on to that and at the same time think that God's gonna bless you it doesn't work that way repent and believe the gospel and God will save you out of every situation and then just tell them Lord I need your help you know the Krev family is going to come back and they're going to sing that song again beside the song that they're going to sing at the end for us they're going to sing that song Lord please forgive me could you close your eyes Krev family just come and take your microphones but before you sing every eye closed every head bowed here's how God works Crosses don't work. Ark of the Covenant doesn't work. Something you wear on your neck will not work. Here's what, here's who works. God works. And he wants to work for you. He wants to do things you can't even imagine how he'll turn your life around. If you'll just humble yourselves and say, God, I got to change the way I'm living I'm going to put away, I turn from that practice or relationship or whatever. It all changes in a moment. The minute you say, I'm wrong. I, I turn from it. I plead the blood of Jesus. And then every enemy starts to back up in your life. Angels begin to fight for you. The Holy Ghost comes in power. 
That's what happens when you just get it right. So listen, if you want us to pray for you, we just got one prayer and then we're gonna close the meeting. This is it. I want you to get out of your seat right now if you need a breakthrough in your life. Get up out of your seat right now and come here to the front. That's it, just come. From the balcony or downstairs, Pastor Simbola, I want this change. My sleep is gone, my heart is full of sorrow. I can't believe how much I've let you down. I dread the pain that waits for me tomorrow. When the sun reveals my broken dreams scattered on the ground Please forgive me I need your grace to make it through All I have is you I'm at your mercy Lord, I'll serve you Until my dying day Will others find the way at your mercy? Please forgive me. I can't believe the God of earth and glory would even take the time to care for one like me. And the Bible thing story How he bled for mine and your forgiveness While he was dying on no, that old tree Please forgive me I need your grace to make it through All I have is you I'm at your mercy, Lord, I'll serve you, yes I will, until my dying day, and help others find the way, I'm at your mercy, Lord, please forgive me, I need your grace to make it through, Lord, Praise you, Lord. Anybody else want to come? Jonathan, if you play too, or Carol on the organ. Put all the keyboards together. Oh, Jesus, I praise you. Look at all these people that are running to you tonight, Lord. And Lord, it's better that just five people come who really repent than a hundred who just feel some emotion. And there's tears. That's a good sign, Lord. Because we're sorry, Lord, for our sins. We're not going to live anymore defeated. It all changes tonight, Lord. For those who have.